What's the deal with Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? This is G.S. Monroe, and you are watching What's the Deal with Spiel? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel, and uh, I've been having fun with a new tuning, a new set of strings. Giddy has this set of strings called G major, and what it is is really high, really high strings. So in this guitar, it's tuned open G major, which is G, B, D. This is something fun to play, fun to mess around with. When I usually play cigar box guitar, I like it in that low grinding, low G. It's kind of mean, you know, make the blues dangerous again. Well, this is a little the opposite of it. Um, this is high end, where you can do some Muddy Waters type of uh, lead work. So first of all, let me show you the guitar I'm using, the slide I'm using, um, and then we'll dig into this. First of all, this guitar was a gift to me back in 2012, made by Roseanne Horn. Uh, she called her company Blues Box. You can sort of see it, it's faint down here. I used this on the Holler album for my cover of Dink Song. And I've always had this guitar tuned a lot higher. Um, I can't even remember what I had it tuned to for dinks. So I put on this set of CB Giddy G major strings, which is 0.026 wound, 0.017 plane, and 0.013 plane. As I was preparing this video, the slide I was using was the Shane Spiel King slide, which is a big hunk of steel. But as I was playing, a lot of the uh, a lot of the sounds behind the slide were coming out because I'm going acoustic. These are very high strings, so I decided to try something different. This is brand new. This is the new Bone Digger slide from Stubby Slide, and it's made from actual bone. A bone slide deadens the strings a lot more than glass or metal. As you put the slide on there, it's almost like a nut. You get precise fretting sounds with a bone slide. There's not as long of a sustain, but for what we're doing here in these high strings, it's still sustaining enough. So as I started messing with this, I did notice immediately that it is just like the top three strings of an open G tuned guitar, six string guitar. So uh, Muddy Waters used a lot of that. So in Can't Be Satisfied, the way Muddy does it, you're up at the 12th fret and you just go from the 10th to the 12th on the high string, 10th to the 12th on the middle string, 10th to the 12th on the low string. Now I've taught this song before in my Muddy Waters lessons, but I taught it on this guitar with a lower tuning. The actual original recording from 1949 um, has more of this tone on it. And then you go three open.
first time he does it one time and then he doubles it if you get tired of playing the same cigar box guitar tuning and you're just going nowhere with it get a pack of these strings they're cheap they're over at CB Giddy I'll put the link in the description of this video and uh, you can try something out so let me see On that one, I'm just going on the two high strings from three to two to three, and then I'm grabbing the low string at the three. Have it there's another fun little thing to try out um and i haven't heard from her in a long time roseanne if you're watching this thank you again for this guitar um i like i said i recorded with it it actually hung in the cigar box guitar museum at spills tavern for several years and now it's back home and i'm using it again my name's shane spiel thanks for joining me this is just a little fun video <laughs> I thought you'd like to hear a different tuning. You guys take care, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.